Thank you, Catherine. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us in the next hour to learn about how you can effectively utilize Microsoft Project 2010 with SharePoint 2010. Uh, this is such an exciting topic for me, although I've seen these products in the last few months. It was only about two weeks ago uh, that I could talk about it when uh, after they, they put this out in SharePoint Conference. And for those who went to SharePoint Conference, you know how, how awesome this uh, upcoming product is. So I thought I'd like to take this opportunity to share with you some of the new features, the good things you could do, or things you couldn't do before with uh, Project 2007, and some of the updates with 2010 along with SharePoint 2010. So with this being said, um, what I'd like to proceed with is, again, just like what Catherine says, if you have any questions, feel free to post it in the chat room. I might not answer it right away, but I'll definitely answer it later on uh, after we finish the presentation. What we're going to talk about in this presentation is, first of all, look at and understand why Microsoft Project is a great tool for project management, especially if you couple it with SharePoint. We'll look at how you can utilize SharePoint. Again, specifically in this uh, presentation, we'll talk about 2010. Uh, we'll talk about how you can utilize SharePoint as a project management information system. And then we'll also look at how we can integrate these two products, Microsoft Project with SharePoint. And I'm sure a lot of you are in a situation where you create a, a Microsoft project plan, but then there's no way for you to share it or have your project team members uh, update the information, update their task without having to email that Microsoft project file. Certainly there's other tools and products out there, things like Project Server, uh, you got Primavera. But for the purposes of this presentation, all I'm going to talk about is Microsoft Project 2010 and SharePoint 2010. I know some of you might have questions about other products. Uh, I'll certainly be happy to answer that um, later, or you can, uh, I'll give out my email. You can certainly email me. We'll also look at, um, with these two wonderful tools, how you can empower a project team to effectively collaborate and share relevant project information. And when I say collaborate, it's above and beyond sending emails. As much as you'd hate to admit it, even though we're living in this 21st century where everybody has an iPhone, you have a GPS in your car, you have TiVo at home because you record 24, you want to watch Jack Bauer. We manage projects today, in most cases, with email. Right? I'm not saying it's bad or it's wrong, but it could be better. And I'm going to show you how you, you can improve upon that with Project 2010, SharePoint 2010. And lastly, we'll talk about how you build a dashboard. I always make a, a joke out of this anywhere I go, but I just can't get enough of it. Again, dashboard is big. This is important to report to customers or executive management. So I'll show you how easy it is to take information in Microsoft Project and report it or, or display it in a visual format out in point through a dashboard leveraging 2010 web part. Okay? So with that being said, um, a uh, quick background on myself. Again, my name is Ducks Raymond Sai. I'm a certified project manager, project management professional. My company is Innovative E. We're based out of Atlanta and uh, Washington, D.C. We are very good at helping organizations effectively or properly implement SharePoint. So that's one of the things we do. And then second is leverage SharePoint as a project management platform. I wrote uh, the book SharePoint for Project Management published by O'Reilly Media. And uh, that's my contact information there. Somebody was asking earlier if, if you all get a copy of this slide or of the presentation I'll do today. Most certainly you will. After this presentation, I'll provide the uh, URL to Catherine, and she'll send out where you can download this presentation as well. And also, all the demonstrations I'll be doing is recorded, so at a later time, you can go back and watch it again so you can see some of the great things. Now, just to put things in perspective, I know some of you have concerns or is asking about, well, Docs, I'm using... Office 2007, um, will the stuff you show be irrelevant? Uh, not at all. Some of the things I show will be very relevant, and I'll raise that again. And uh, feel free to ask, ask me as well if you can do certain things in prior versions of Project and SharePoint. But uh, certainly I'll highlight what's coming up, what, uh, uh, what, what new features or better functionalities are um, included in this new version of Project and SharePoint as well. Okay, so here's the agenda for uh, the next hour. Uh, first, I'll talk about if Microsoft Project with SharePoint is the silver bullet of project management. And then second, we'll step through the process of a typical project lifecycle. We'll talk about how you effectively initiate and plan projects 
utilizing these two wonderful tools. Third, we'll talk about how you facilitate efficient collaboration other than using email and network share and that good old reliable thumb drive. And then lastly, we'll also look at how you track and report relevant project status. And when I say tracking, a lot of us think around tracking schedule. Are you ahead? Are you behind? Or, or tracking budget? Uh, are we over budget, under budget? Or, or tracking changes? How many change requests came in? Uh, is scope creeping in? So, so we'll look at all these different facets and dynamics of a typical project environment, and then we'll see how these two tools can uh, support us in, in a wonderful way. Okay? So with that, I want to kick off our discussion with this picture. Now, I need, I need everybody's participation here. I mean, the words might be a little small, so I'll, I'll highlight a couple. But on the top left, there's a picture. It says, this is how the customer explained it. Next to it, to the right, it says how the project leader understood it. Third, how the analyst designed it. How the programmer wrote it. And then how the business consultant described it. You see that picture with a sofa on the swing? What I like about that is that, you know, that sun shining from the back. <laughs> and then the bottom one from the left, this is how the project was documented, what operations installed, how the customer was built, that roller coaster, how it was supported, and then lastly, what the customer really needed in this project. So guys, tell me, what do you think some of the problems here are? Does this look familiar to you? Just put it in the chat room. What are the problems that stand out in this short comic strip that depicts project management? Okay, so everybody says it's accurate, great picture, it's posted in my office. So what are the problems? Tell me. Different groups are motivated by different things, okay, very much so, absolutely. Lack of communication. Communications, very good. Requirements, right? Thank you, Susan. No requirements. So a lot of you came up with the, the right answers, and it's a great point that none of, none of you said, well, they didn't use any tool. Because in any project environment or any challenge or, or in any challenge we encounter, what always uh, comes up, if, if you want to look at all these challenges, number one is always a lack of standardized project management process. I'm not even talking about tools here. I'm just talking about there's no norm on how we do things. You know, I love technology. I'm a firm believer in, in technology helping us, especially in project management. But first and foremost, there should be a standardized way of doing things. And I'm not advocating that you memorize the 44 different processes from the PMI's project management body of knowledge. But all I'm talking about is there should be a mode of how people do things in any project environment. How do you plan? How do you initiate? How do you track? Poor communications. And when we talk about communications, I want to specify relevant communications. I mean, how many times have we been in projects where you get copied on every single email with a bunch of attachments, even if it had nothing to do with you? Don't you love that? It just clogs up your mailbox. But what I'm talking about communications, other than your meetings, your verbal communications, you, depending on who you are, be it the customer, the PM, the team lead, get relevant information at the right time. The next challenge is inefficient collaboration. Again, we rely on email too much. But what if you sent that expense reimbursement form to your PM and he's on vacation, right? And he doesn't come back for three weeks. And so you, you didn't get to pay the contractor. How does that affect the project? How does that affect morale of people? And then lastly, ineffective project information management practices. Today, where do we store project information? All over. It's in your email. It's in your thumb drive, my documents folder, network share. So that picture highlights all these typical challenges. And as you can see, you know, tools come into the picture here, but it's more around the process and the people aspect of project management where we fall short.